I want to talk about some of these 0-2 teams and do they have the potential to go 0-4. I, TSM can't, will not go 0-4. I, oh. That'd be crazy. Reddit would shut down if TSM goes 0-4. That just yeah. would not be good. Oh, I, man. I will say, though, some of the other 0-2 teams, you got Optic, you got Golden Guardians. Optic, who TSM plays, um, they went 0-2, but they, they were in both of their games against some tough competition. 100 Thieves, we mentioned, 65-minute game. Oh, my goodness. And then against Team Liquid, they put up a pretty solid showing against them. And uh, I, I don't think they're going to go 0-2 this week again. They got TSM, as I mentioned, and they're playing FlyQuest. I think they're going to get a win against FlyQuest, even though I know FlyQuest beat TSM. Uh, I, I was pleasantly surprised with Optic. Power of Evil looked great, which I kind of expected him to perform well. But I was really impressed by Arrow. He was much more the 2017 spring Arrow, more so than summer. Yeah, Arrow looked a lot better, more improved. He got out of the laning phase a little bit earlier and got into these team fights, where again, he seems to be able to really shine uh, in the team fights is where he finds his absolute max value. But for Optic, this is a team that has talked about in the past that, you know what, we know where everyone's really ranking us. We know we're not coming in with a lot of hype together. But there's one thing that we will commit to more than any other team is that we are going to try and work our hardest and outwork other teams. And that seems to be the commitment that these guys are making. Acadian says that he will not be streaming whatsoever this spring under that type of focus and dedication to the team. Whether that results in avoiding the 0-4 start, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, I think that Optic does have a chance to make it out of this week without you know, dropping to that dreaded 0-4. And, and I, I don't know any type of reality where TSM could find their way down there. So unfortunately, looks like it's going to be the Golden Guardians, I find, that stay down there. Yeah, if it's anyone, I think it will be uh, the Golden Guardians. I mean, they were in that game against Cloud9 for a little bit. But they had bright moments. There were some bright spots, some good moments, some good plays. Well, you Just pick, not enough. You pick Zoe and you're going to have some bright yes. moments on that Golden <laughs> Guardian squad. But I mean, their first game against Clutch, they got pretty destroyed. And the fact that Clutch got absolutely bodied by Echo Fox in that game too, I don't know if that really speaks to the strength of the Guardians, but um, they don't look super solid. They're playing FlyQuest again, and CLG, I can't, again, CLG, another team I don't see going 0-2 again, because they were in both of their games as well, and they had tough matchups, so I expect CLG to beat the Guardians, and FlyQuest, I think, is better than Golden Guardians. I definitely think, think that as well. I think there is some potential for the Golden Guardians to improve and, and become better as the split goes on. But I think that one of the things that you really do need to look at with the Golden Guardians is that they're just, they just don't work. You know, you're watching the rest of these games and everyone else seems to be in it at almost a certain point. You know, yeah. uh, maybe aside from TSM against Team Liquid and what was the yeah, shortest... Yeah, they weren't in that game. In, in the, what was the shortest match of the week? No. Yeah. But other than that, Golden Guardians hasn't really had anything going for them. And other teams have at least been able to generate that at certain moments in their, in their own matches. That's why I feel so down on the Golden Guardians. Yeah, and uh, this was all a trick question. The team that's probably going to go 0-2 this week is the Unicorns of Love. <laughs> over, all the way on the other side of the pond. All the way over in EU. They're playing Schalke and Rock Hat this week, which isn't a crazy schedule. No. But uh, they look bad in week one. I've seen these other teams yeah. didn't look great in NA, Guardians, and, uh, well, really just Guardians, and TSM. <laughs> they didn't look good. No. UOL looked bad. Right, and I mean, and the thing is, like, even with TSM, you can look at them and say, hey, you know what? There's a light on the end, at, the ed at the end of the tunnel here. They're going to be getting better. There's going to be some synergy problems early, but hey, Mythies, Ven, Mike Young, there's no way we can be bad like that. There's talent there. They're going to get better. Unicorns of love. Uh, I don't know, guys. There's not a lot of hope there. I don't know how much better it's going to get. And yeah, this is a week that isn't really the toughest on paper by any stretch. But it's not really easy either. You're looking at no. Schalke as a, as a good team and has a lot of upside to them. And then even Rock Hat coming in clutch with the win against G2. The Kingslayers that they are, do they carry that momentum and, and, uh, and play style into their match against Unicorns of Love, possibly getting another win and keeping Unicorns down at 0-4? We'll have to see. Yeah, well, I, I expect EU to uh, 
be similar where you're, you're looking at like eight one and one teams. Uh, I don't know if there's some tough matchups this week, so I don't see even the top tier teams like G2, Misfits, Fnatic, Schalke going 2-0 because there's, there's tough competition in EU. But uh, in NA, teams like TSM and CLG, I'd, I'd be surprised if they went 0-2 again. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.